What's going on guys, brothers all brother here and today I'm bringing you another best class setup. Now this is for the ARX 160 steel bite man. This weapon right here is arguably the best weapon in the game right now. I don't know, is it better than the IMR? Do you think it's better than the IMR? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think it is. I definitely think it is to be honest. This weapon is actually a monster. The one burst you can get with this is just, it's just crazy man to be honest. So it's definitely arguably the best weapon in the game right now. But again guys, let me know in the comments down below what other weapons you want to see me do a best class setup on. I'll definitely do them for you guys. Just let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't got the steel bite, don't worry because, you know, base, most of the time, you know, with these classes, you can basically put them on the normal variant, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. So if you haven't got a steel bite, just put it on the normal weapon. It will just work just as well except you know you ain't got the plus three damage of the steel bite right there but let's get straight into this guys let's move on to perk one for perk one we're gonna put on lightweight now i used to put on low profile for this class but i've realized it kind of depends what you're playing to be honest if you're playing like team deathmatch or hard point anything like that you kind of want to put on low profile just because you know a lot of people do get uavs and you know it can get a little bit annoying it's quite easy to get uavs in them game modes but if you're in like free for all, you know, people find it a lot harder. I realize barely anyone gets a UAV when I'm playing. So, you know, I put on lightweight, it just helps me move faster, especially with this weapon being an assault rifle as well. It's pretty sick to have as a perk. So I put on lightweight for that. Now, I actually don't put on a perk too. Usually, you guys know I put on blind eye, but again, no one gets streaks. No one gets streaks on free for all. So, you know, I've realized it's kind of just a waste of a slot for me. So I don't put that on right there. But for perk free, you guys know what it is. You got the duo, you got toughness and blaster pressing. Now, what kind of annoys me about this game right here is, you know, say if you're trying to go on some long gun streaks, it's kind of difficult to do because you're going to have to pick up weapons. And sometimes it's difficult to find a weapon that's actually, you know, useful. You know, some people are using some next newbie, newbie weapons. You just die straight away. But, you know, I kind of want to put on scavenger. But you can't really substitute that for any of these two perks right there. You gotta use these two perks. So it's kind of annoying. I wish Scavenger was like a like a perk too, but it isn't, so I cannot use that, which is annoying. But let's move on straight to the score streak, guys. For the score streak, we're gonna put on the usual UAV. Now the modules, you guys know, let me show you again. You got the threat detection, you got the enemy direction. Now again, you can either put on speed or extra time. I'm going to put on extra time because it just lasts longer and it just feels a lot better. Like the Orbital Visa from like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 actually. It's back in Black Ops 3. What's it called now? I think it's called, it's called the Hater. It's called the Hater. So it's back in Black Ops 3, <laughs> which is pretty sick. But Score Streak 2, not actually going to put on the Assault Drone this time. I'm not going to put on the Assault Drone. For this, I feel, very, I feel very confident with this weapon right here. So I'll go for the big boy streaks which is a warbird i usually put on the warbird but you got that aggressor module you need that man trust me and then for score streak three i'm gonna put on the paladin i'm gonna put on the paladin now this is like the best well the 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 dearest score streak within this game right here i'm not sure if it's the best sometimes it's kind of difficult to get kills but you know when they're spawning off and you're getting kills with this it's just crazy but trust me man Put that sleight of hand on because like when you need to reload with outside of hand, like the paladin's basically over. You know, score streaks don't last too long within this game. So put on sleight of hand. I've not really tried out these modules too much. You could put on extra time as well, to be fair, if you're feeling a little bit confident, because that's like plus 350 points. So yeah, if you're feeling confident, put on those modules right there. And let's move on to the weapon. We've got the ARX 160 still by you can look at that man it just, it's just mental to be honest like you got a plus three damage minus two accuracy and minus one fire rate now that really doesn't mean much the accuracy doesn't mean much you know because it is a burst weapon the recoil is not too bad at all you know with the the hit fire spread isn't too bad either so it's really not a bad way it's, it's a beast weapon it's a beast weapon it also looks pretty sick as well but let's get straight to the attachments this is the main part right here guys now you've got to put the red dot i, I don't like the iron sight so i've got to put the red dot and that kind of annoys me when i'm making a class because the red dot kind of takes up a slot sometimes you don't really need it if you like the iron sights but if you can't get used to the iron sights trust me don't use the red dot. You can get used to iron sights, guys. Just use the iron sights because it just leaves you leaves you with an extra slot. But with the second attachment, I'm going to put on stock. Now, 
you'll see in a second why you don't need foregrip but i'm going to put on stock right here you know plus two mobility when you're aiming down sides, you can move a little bit quicker you know when you're strafing and stuff like that it definitely does help especially with this burst weapon right here but for the attachment three you're gonna have to put on primary gunfighter and i'm gonna put on quick draw grip now i just i'm just gonna hop in fire ra firing range and just look at this man i'm gonna shoot at the wall and the recoil is not bad at all look at that you really do not need foregrip it doesn't move it's a burst weapon man you really do not need foregrip whatsoever look just look at it with foregrip a sec let's put that on i know it will be a little bit better you can see right there it's just exactly the same man it's just exactly the same so you really do not need far grip on this class right here again again if you haven't got the steel bite be sure to put on the normal arx even if you got the hole puncher actually the hole punch is a really good variant of this weapon but yeah that's about it in fact we got one more slot you can put on an exo ability or an exo launcher for me i would probably put like a, a centex on or a stun grenade or a frag for this i'm gonna put on i'm gonna put on a frag you know i'm gonna put on a stun because i use this quite a lot for hard point picking people off and stuff like that so that really does help so yeah that's the end of this best class setup right here guys again let me know in the comments down below what other weapon you want to see me do a best class setup on i'll definitely do that for you guys make sure you make this class it's an absolute beast weapon if you haven't tried it out already make sure you do man it's sick so leave a like if you enjoyed guys subscribe if you are new thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace